Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me to the end of the day wrap. Well, as we can see, the Australian dollar is still flirting with the 60-day moving average, which is around 71.65 to 85, with an intraday high of 79 today, and yesterday at 95, does expect a potential downturn from here, as we've previously seen in recent challenges. All eyes is turns to later today to the US CPI number, with the number expected to be large than previous, that is around 7.3. It is assessed though, the markets may actually see a stronger US dollar if we do see a, a greater number. But if the number does come in lighter, then that does indicate that inflation is calling and therefore could see a bit more of a downturn in the US dollar in the short term. Nevertheless, overall, I feel the dollar by itself, that is the greenback, should eventually recapture its momentum from around 95 and a half and move up towards 96 and eventually 97 as a broader objective. So therefore, looks for the Australian dollar to retreat from current levels and look down towards 71 figure 25 area. Since last week, when the market was caught off guard by the ECB rate decision, that was more of a hawkish, we failed to clear any significant highs around 114.7080. In light of the pattern, I feel we could be looking down towards this region of 114. And the close beneath there would give further indication down to 113, which is I'm, I'm in favour of, as the technicals are breaking from an RSI point. The dolly end still relatively firm in the current upward pattern that we're seeing here, nevertheless towards 116 or 11590 you should find an ambush from the bears like previously seen and therefore see a downturn back towards the region of 11470 and reassess as we could get to about 11420. Sterling, while well, posting three dojis, the market is still a little bit puzzled in terms of the direction. Nevertheless, I feel from the weak MACD and then weak RSI, and also from the three dojis, which if it was at the top side of the range, would be classed as a tri-star. Nevertheless, is negative. I feel the market is looking back towards 134.60. Reassess from there. If we don't get a bounce, then we are looking down towards 133 and a half. But I'd like to take one step at a time and reassess from that midpoint here, 134.50.60, in case we do see a bounce, because we've been a little bit hesitant in the down challenge just recent. I've decided to move on from CAD Gen as it's going sideways and maybe look at an interesting cross currency that is of sterling Kiwi. As we can see, the four month trend line has been somewhat bombarded now by the bears and therefore could see further down test. Keep an eye on this level as if it does break anywhere from around We've got just a break there, but it's just re-challenging around 2.02.30 that we could see another down test. Now, from a weekly, though, we do have a hanging man, which is significantly ne negative from the top side of the range, of course. And therefore, keeping an eye on this pattern it is weekly, so I do feel the market will see further down pressure. And if the leg to the sterling does drop another 60 points, then, of course, this will see further weakness and also dollar strength coming through, may see a little weakness in the New Zealand dollar too. Gold, well, the market continues to grind higher and now gets to 1,833. In light of the pattern, I would say the market is short ahead of the uh, US CPI, so we could see some whipsaw price action, but a bull trap could be lying anywhere above 33 and up towards 1,850.53 if we do see that squeeze. Nevertheless, there is a there is a trap here, and therefore I do anticipate eventually the market turning down, with the base still holding around 1,788. Well, the market's a little bit lacklustre price action over the last 24 hours, still keeps the negative picture for the technicals, and therefore I do feel since the break of recent of that 88, that we could see a move down towards $86 a barrel and reassess from there. 
Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow morning.